few months ago, I was at the airport. I was waiting for my flight, and I saw this girl in a wheelchair. She could not move her hands or her legs, but she had a great smile. You know, those kind of smile that you cannot stop to think about it. So we knew that we could use our experience in robotics and deep learning to translate that smile into comments to control her wheelchair. The wheelchair was a little awkward at first. Um, using facial expressions instead of other manual forms of movement it was a little confusing, but once you use it for a decent amount of time and get comfortable with the controls, it becomes a lot more natural and easy to use. And I found once I got comfortable with it, it was um, very, very nice, very pleasant. I didn't really have too many issues with it. It is electronic glasses. It houses a high-speed, high-definition camera. That camera captures what's in front of a person uh, who lives with vision loss and then enhances the footage to a form that will allow them to actually see it. So you could be living with, in, in Rosa's case, 20 over 200 vision. Um, and when you put on eSight and you look ahead, you could see the fine detail on a piece of paper or in someone's eyes. It's, it's remarkable. Being born visually impaired, I was born legally blind. With the unit, I'm seeing things for the first time. So it's not like someone who's lost their vision or has had to go back and get corrective lenses done. I'm seeing things that I've never seen before with the unit. So it's like, it's revolutionary for people who are visually impaired. Like people who do not have like much of the uh, grip or strength left, Actually, like it, this device helps them to be able to uh, close their hand by themselves so that they can do basic activities like toothbrushing, opening the door, or just grabbing a coffee cup.